The fate of our oceans and marine life hangs in the balance, as they absorb over 90% of the heat from global warming. But as the main source of oxygen for our planet, they can also be our ally in fighting climate change. Professor Sean Anderson is an award-winning ecologist who monitors various ecosystems across Southern California. Through his experiments, he's traced a number of species whose populations are in decline, and he says the climate crisis has been a significant factor. In fact, most of the carbon we've emitted um, since the Industrial Revolution has gone into the oceans, and that's made the oceans more acidic. And so as a consequence, when these critters are trying to make their shells, sometimes they cannot make their shells. And so we're talking about catastrophic failures of oyster populations. The changing temperatures and pH of the oceans is endangering thousands of species. Among the most threatened ecosystems are coral reefs. Coral reefs, for example, uh, under a, a 1.5 degree uh, temperature increase, are expected to lose around 70 to 90 percent of their global extent. And uh, if the global temperature increases by two degrees or more, uh, there will almost be none left. And that could have dire implications for millions of people around the world whose livelihoods rely on coral reefs as a source of food, ecotourism and more. Along the man-made climate change, other unsustainable human practices are also taking a toll on marine biodiversity. At least 14 million tons of plastic end up in our oceans every year, making up 80% of all marine debris further threatening marine life and human health. Scientists underscore the importance of creating and maintaining more protected areas for marine conservation. These areas are places that we've set aside to have a lighter touch, a place where we don't harvest at all or don't ha harvest as much, a place where we don't drive vehicles at all or as much, and that is to give um, the rest of the planet some breathing space. So this allows the shrimp, this allows the birds to be able to reproduce, go about their lives and not be, be harassed. Increasing protected areas can provide respite in the short term. But in the long term, systemic change, a shift to clean energy and reduction in our carbon footprint is the only thing that will give our oceans a fighting chance. It is Tian Shan, TRT World, Los Angeles.